image editing and graphic design for other photographers. And then I noticed that I wanted to start touring with my own picture. I went to YouTube University. Now I did go to the Art Institute uh, for one semester, but I dropped out because it cost too much money. Um, I specialize in portrait photography, in-studio photography, definitely creative photography with graphic works and everything. I like to keep it budget friendly and economical as possible. That way people, a lot of my older clients have said like, you know, you're talented and reasonable, which is kind of sometimes hard to come by. I think I'm different and unique from other photographers. Uh, for one, because I can edit my own images. A lot of photographers send out their pictures to be retouched by somebody else. And two, because I can pretty much cater to the ideas that my clients will have without being overwhelmed. Like some people come to me with crazy ideas and they want to be cut out or floating or doing something crazy. And they come to me specifically because they know that I can handle that type of thing. Which I've been published in Essence, uh, Scratch Magazine, Coast to Coast Magazine, um, uh, Straight Stunting, I believe, and Vibe Magazine. I'm not new to photography, but I am new to Atlanta, so I've only been here a couple months. I moved down to Atlanta to marry my wife and start a family down here. Yeah, I definitely thank her every day for it because the opportunity here is, there's way more opportunity here than there is in uh, New Jersey. In, in New Jersey, there's more opportunity for regular photography, like children and weddings, but down here, there's more opportunity to be published or to work with models and actors and actresses. My shoot with the iconic fashion scene was pretty live. They're a good, uh, a real live group of people and they have a, a feeling like they're very comfortable around each other. I don't know how long they've known each other, but you get the vibe that they've known each other through like high school or junior school or all the way, you know, for a lot of years. So it was definitely a lot of fun. To me, fashion and style are similar because without one, you can't have the other. They both involve uh, setting the trend and setting the standard for other people to follow. Being a photographer has contributed to my style because uh, last year I made a vision board of how I want my life to come in the next couple of years. And on the vision board I had mannequins with no head on it but they had the clothes that I want to start buying and start seeing myself wearing because I have a tendency to go shopping and buy like the driest things so looking at the board reminds me that I need to go to a better store or put a, put a different type of spin on an outfit that I wouldn't usually do. I'm Antonio Guerrero and you're watching Iconic Fashion.